I'm going to show you a really cool effect that uh, it's uh, I use it as the first part of my new uh, collectors. I have multi-phase collectors routine. It's like three or four phases long. And, uh, in another video, I'll put it all together and show you. I've shown part of it in the Three Musketeers, but there's much more. And there's like a whole bunch of phases. This is the beginning phase of it, so you can put it all together. Um, and this is actually, uh, this is Alex Elms' is one of the time collectors. And, uh, what I do, I'll just show you what it looks like. I have the four kings, I examine them, and make sure there's nothing in between them and everything like that. And then what I do is I, uh, I show the four kings, and, okay? And uh, I show them very cleanly, and I say, watch, I'm going to take your cards out of the deck, right? Just going to reach in, try and grab one card out in the middle, invisibly. Okay. I can get it out of the middle invisibly. There it is. I drop it. Okay. Look what happens. I get one card. It magically appears right in the middle. And that would be the first card. Let's say the selections was the ace, two, and three for this example. Okay. I take the second card, reach in the middle, pull it out. Toss it so it lands right in between. Look how clean this is. Now, uh, you can show this thing. You show this thing, right? And uh, you show it like this. That's the two, right? And then the third card. You show there's only an ace and two, and then you show, but there's no, uh, there's no three. So we take the third card out in the middle, and this is, put it over here, and you go, it's not yet, until we snap. So it's just a little idea, but what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to explain it. There's a couple little tips on here that will help with it. You get three cards selected, right? Let's say for the three cards, you're going to have the ace, the two, and the three. And the way that you're going to take them back, instead of one, two, and three, you're going to take them back in one, three, two, and one. You're going to control them to the top. Okay. And uh, I'll just show you a simple way to do that. It's with uh, uh, Harry Lorraine's uh, Hindu. Right? So you do a Hindu control. And the first one controls right to the top. And all you do is you take out some cards and you just Hindu it right to the top. Right? So whenever that you can go right to the top and then you can start to shuffle and then pull the break and then whenever they say stop, it's really clean, you just put that back to the next one. Okay. So what it does is um, you're gonna take them back so that instead of going in one, two, and three order, you're gonna take them back. So let's say you control the first one at the top, right? Then the next one in a control. Um, so instead of taking them back three, two, one, you'd go three, one, two, because you want it. You want it to be instead of the order of one, two, three, right? You want it to be like this. So however you're going to do it. So this is just an example. Um, you can go the first one back, right? You take back the uh, you take back the second guy's card back. It's kind of it seems the way that's the way that back to the crowd and then uh, you hold the break and the next one comes back right it's coming back to the third person holding a break and then uh, you would just stop in the break right and so it would be like this instead of one two three in that order right do any kind of false cuts or shuffles that you wish uh, Shuffle the deck this way. Keep them on top, right? Now, if you want to, if you're working with different cards, you want a glimpse. Here's a nice glimpse that I've discovered. It's really easy. As they're examining the kings from an exposed angle, if you just riffle here really quietly, you'll see one, two, three. And in this case, it's one, three, two. It's uh, ace, three, two, right? But if you miss it, you just do it again. You just have them examine the cards and have someone else examine the cards. This is towards yourself. Your hands are crossed. So you just go and see. Up close. One, three. So ace. So you're just thumbing off. 
one, two, three, there. It's a nice little glimpse. And then after you thumb those off, you stick your finger in here, and then you just do the LJ's pop, or you could do a pinky count if you wish. They've examined the cards, you know, you have all three examine them, whatever you want to do. You make a big deal, there's nothing in between. Then you steal this back on, on the deck real quick. You set the deck down. You set the deck down over here to your right. So what you have here, and these on the bottom, now what you do is you're going to do a, a spread here, and you want to kind of keep this down so you hide the thickness there, and you're going to do this subtlety here, right? And when you start to do this subtlety a little bit, and it, it looks like it's, you know, it's a very uh, free way to show four cards, but you actually have seven because you're, you're gonna your hands are gonna be down and you're gonna be standing up. So you're gonna kind of turn to show, as you say, as you talk about the meanings of the kings, which I'll do in another one. It's a longer explanation. Um, so you have this, and you're going to push this one forward to hide the thickness, right? First finger is going to buckle, and you're going to do a double buckle. You're just going to slightly, very slightly on this. You don't want to expose that because you're throwing the attention on these. Like you talk about the suicide king, whatever you're going to do. Kings actually do have meanings, um, which I'll talk about. Like I said, in another one, it's a big, huge, long thing. You know, you double buckle. You put this here, and then. Uh, that will do is you've just loaded it. So let's show you how you loaded it. Let's do that again. So you're here, right? You stop for a second as you're talking about the means of each king. You buckle with your first finger and with your middle finger. And then you just load these two so that they're going above those two bottom cards. Now what that will do is it gets you ready. It doesn't look like you've done anything. Just square up and you pretend to take a card out of the middle like you're looking for. And you pretend to take it out invisibly. And this is Alex Nobles, who's one of the time collectors, very clean. You very cleanly count the cards. So one, two, and the third card is based on card of jersey, out jogger. And then three and four. Okay? Now this is actually a triple. So what you do is you just put this on top, square everything, and then you show this. Show me one, right? And you show that's the first one. Now, as you square them up, you're going to get a break. You can also even pinky count. I've discovered you can pinky count even from a small packet, which is quite easy here. I mean, it's a little bit harder than doing it with the deck, but you can do this. The way you do it is you bevel these, you bevel this with your thumb here. See, what I've done is as I'm squaring, I'm actually making a big bevel here. So when I put it back in my hand, it's already ready there. See, so then I can one to it with the pinky. Do that again. So you kind of, when you bevel it, you kind of make it a little swirl like that effect. So you're ready. And you're not obviously showing that because it's in your hand. But you're just, you're just going to get a break very lightly as you're going over here, as you're looking for a card in the middle. You move it. And you say, there's a second one. Now you take this off. This is a double, right? Face down card underneath it. So this will be hidden because of what you do, right? You go. So there's one face down, you out jog the face down cards. It's two, count through three, four, five, right? Now here's what you do you are going to very cleanly show this thing, okay? Because you're going to re spread. Now you can show you've only got the first two cards, there's no three. Now what I do at this point is um, I'm going to switch this card, the King of Hearts for the King of Clubs, but kind of openly. And the way I'm going to do that is when I showed this, okay, my thumb is going to take this queen, or this king. It seems like weird, but it's not. You're just going to switch this one for this one. And it's not really a secret switch, but you're just... The way you do it is you go like this, see, and you take that out. So now they think, you know, you've got the first two, and then on the last one, all you have to do is you bring this one, see, it's hidden there. You bring this one to the top, and it just, just, 
a gesticular action. Of, it's kind of like a, it's basically a gesture cut with this whole thing. Instead of coming back this way, you come back that way, right? So I leave them out and I show. Very, very clean. Now, on the last one, you get a pinky break the same way that I showed you using that packet uh, pink account setup then, right? That's here. And that's done as you're coming over here and you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking right? Oh, you got it. Stop, you got it. You're pulling out visibly. Now you do the brush change. One, two, three. You do the brush change for the last one. It's such a simple thing, but it's a nice way to begin into uh, a collector's routine. And I'll show other videos with more collectors.